All right, Poong. So we're going plank, chaturanga, and then we're going to try to figure out the transition into up dog. That's probably going to be the hardest part. You do it naturally, just whatever comes to you, and then I'll give you suggestions based on what I see. Okay? Just make it up. Really? <laughs> really. I'm a bad <laughs> it's okay. You can't do it. It's fine. What do I remember? Okay, plank pose. Remember this one? And then you bend your elbows. Mm -hmm. And then you pull forward. Up dog. Yeah. Down dog. Good. Okay, try that again so I can watch you a little bit more clearly. Plank. Remember, pause. You want your shoulder exactly. So now you know your tendency in plank pose is to make it too long. So you just want to press your heels forward. There you go. Keep the belly lifting. Tuck your tailbone just a little bit, so butt toward your knees. Uh, like nope, come on down to your knees for a second. Okay, so in plank pose for you, <laughs> we're gonna practice sticking your butt down to your knees. You're not oh, over tucking, not okay. yeah, but just enough so that the low belly is engaged and more supportive, okay? So it's like your core is lifting up while your elbows bend and take you down. Mm -hmm. Can you figure out how to do that? Lift up here. Yes, that's it. Good, take a little rest. I can see that's a lot for you. That You felt that, huh? Yeah. OK, because you're already starting to shake a little bit, we're going to do the whole thing with your knees down. Okay. So you'll do plank pose. Then you'll put your knees down. Then you'll take your chest forward for your chaturanga. And then watch my feet. So my knees are down, then the tops of my feet come down, chest forward and up, okay? So do your full plank, and remember, you tend to have your shoulder exactly. And then put your knees down, still in plank. Good lift in the belly. Now you do your chaturanga. Elbows bend, uh-huh. And now up dog, chest forward and up. <laughs> okay, come on down. <laughs> I know you did. You did good. All right. Like this arm, it won't lift it up. I know. <laughs> it's confusing. Is your wrist okay? Yeah. Okay, we're just going to do a little bit more because it's a lot on your wrist for today. We can see that. I don't know why this wrist. Well, I think because of your anesthetician, right? You do all that work with your hands. So, yeah, we'll just we'll do one more. And while I'm talking, just you can rest the backs of your hands on your thighs, okay? The transition into up dog from chaturanga, so you did this so well, okay? The next step is the tops of your feet come down, and then your chest pulls forward and up. So what you did, which is actually harder, is you tried to push straight up. It takes less strength, but more coordination to pull forward. Do you know coordination? So coordination is putting the pieces of the puzzle together the right way. So the way that I'm showing where you take the chest forward and up, you don't need as much strength, but how to do it, the coordination can be a little tricky. So we're going to figure it out. OK. Yeah? <laughs> I asked myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you do your full plank and make sure your wrists are supported by pressing these fingers down. This part of your fingers, good. Knees down, good. Bend your elbows, bend your elbows. And now pull forward and up, forward and up. Straighten your arms, forward and up. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you, it is hard. It's hard, but that's what you're here for. You're here to figure it out, right? So from this position here, right, you lower. And now my head, like you're going, you know how there's those doggy doors that people put yes. um, in their home and the dog goes like this? Oh, okay. That's what you're doing with your chest. So from here, you take your chest like you're going through a doggy door. Up. Forward and up, okay? One more time. I say one more time a lot. And to better support your wrists, keep the shoulders forward and try to keep the weight at the front of the hand, not by the wrist. Good. Knees down. Bend. Uh-huh. And now chest. Yes! That's it. Good. And then hips up and back. 
Okay, take a break. Oh, yes, I did it! Yes! Okay. Like um, when you say, oh, you remember the doggy door, they have to go down, go up. That's the key. Yes! <laughs> awesome. Okay, so I'm going to make one more request. Okay. okay, this is for your feet. So now you got the doggy door oh, part. I forgot my you forgot feet your down. feet. Yeah, so many things. Okay, so. What happens to the feet, I just want the people at home to see too. So from here, you can have your knees down. You bend the elbows, and then you just go like this. Lift your knees up as you pull forward, okay? All right, you got this. Mm-hmm. Wow, you didn't even put your knees down. Okay, good work. That was, no, that was, you, you made it harder for yourself because you never put your knees down, which was cool. So now I'm going to give you more to think about with your feet, okay? You already have the rest of it, so the reason why I'm giving you more is because you're learning so fast, okay? Okay. All right, so you already have the shoulders part down. Now for the feet, I'm going to give you a different option. So what I said before was knees down, tops of the feet down, knees up. But since you're not putting your knees down anymore, what you're going to do is lower, and then you're going to put one foot down, the other foot, and then up. Oh, okay. OK? One foot down and one foot. One. So here, lower, top, top, up. OK. <laughs> you're doing so good. Chest forward, remember? Yes. Chest forward. Yep, up. That's, you got it. Good work. Yes. Sweaty. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's no joke. For those of you at home, I think for you, that's good. You're going to stick with that. And if you start to develop a regular practice, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right foot first and then left foot. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, left foot first and then right foot. So this helps keep your hips more even if you do a lot of yoga. If you want a trickier transition, which I think you've got enough to think about for now, uh -huh. but some people, or you one day, maybe you're in your plank pose, you lower, and then you push both feet back and pull forward. So the key is, actually, do you mind if I use this mat just so I'm a little closer? Um, the key is, when we're going over the feet, we don't want to just pull forward because then my shoulders end up too far forward over my hands, and it's not the right position for my wrists. So we need the feet to end up in the same position that they were. So when I place one foot down and then the other, that keeps them there instead of just rolling forward and ending up with the shoulders too far forward. The other option is to keep them in place, lowering down, push back, and then pull forward. The problem I have with that so my skin is so dry, it starts to peel my toes. So I don't really like doing it. Yeah. Do you want to try one more time? All right, let's put it all together. You see what sticks? And I'll leave you to it. All right, Pung, yoga master. Yes. So strong. So strong. Yay! All right. And then you can do your fabulous hands. Cha, yep, forehead down. And then from this, yeah, bend the wrists, elbows back. Yeah. Awesome. You give it a try. Oh, <laughs>